In question two, we're told the sum of an arithmetic series is the sum from r equals 1 to n of 80 minus 3r. In part A, we're asked to write down the first two terms of the series. The question carries two marks. So when r is equal to 1, we're going to have 80 minus 3 lots of 1. So 80 minus 3 lots of 1, that will give me 77. If we take r to be equal to 2, 80 minus 3 lots of 2 is going to give me 74. So for two marks, we need to write down 77 and 74. In part B, we're asked to find the common difference of the series. The question carries one mark. We can see that this is decreasing by 3 each time, so the common difference, D, will be minus 3. It now says given that n is equal to 50, in part C, find the sum of the series. The question carries 3 marks. A couple of different approaches. All I'm going to do is write this out. We've got the sum from r equals 1 to 50 of 80 minus 3r. I'm going to use now the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2 a plus l, where a is the first term and l is the last term. We already have a, which is the first term, and that's 77. We have got now n, n is going to be 50, and all we need to do is find l. l is the last term. So if we consider now when r is equal to 50, this will be 80 minus 3 lots of 50, which is going to give me minus 70. So that's the last term when we've got r equal to 50. So we can say the sum of the first 50 terms will be 50 divided by 2. We'll have the first, which is going to be 77, plus now the last, which will be minus 70. And that will give us now the sum of the first 50 terms is going to be 25 multiplied by 7, which will equal now 175. So that's one particular approach that you could take to solve part C.